All right, how do you act on the financial plan recommendations that we've given you? All right, that's what we're gonna talk about right now. It's, we call it our implementation. Uh, so acting on our financial plan recommendations, we call it implementation. And um, what, what, is that, what does that look like to start with, Shanna? How do, they, how do we know what to do first? Where do we start? Where do we start? So uh, basically, we're going to help them through the process, right? So, yes. so they don't have to decide where to start first because we're going to find out what the most important piece is um, of all of our recommendations. So uh, Tyler talked last time about uh, looking at, uh, in, you know, might have investment recommendations, might have insurance recommendations, mm -hmm. might be debt, might be college. Well, we're going to figure out which one is the, the biggest priority for them because it, because it could vary. And so then we're going to help them through that process. Uh, so it may be paperwork that we have to help mm -hmm. them with, uh, some, you know, filling out paperwork, transferring accounts, uh, maybe moving money from their bank account into an investment or vice versa, uh, or getting insurance set up. So we are going to be the ones to help lead them through. I think that's the, the, the biggest thing is we're gonna have all these recommendations. You're like, well, where do I start? You start with us helping you because right. that's our job is to help you implement everything that we've recommended. Mm -hmm. uh, what else happens after the meeting? Like, I mean, you're helping with paperwork, but. You know, so after the meeting, uh, you know, for one thing, we're gonna, you know, we're, we're looking at, you know, we, we've looked at the things that we, mm -hmm. we're gonna implement. And so there's probably a lot of activity going on. So in the beginning, especially when we do a new plan, there's always, there are always a lot of things going on for the next one to two months. Okay. Uh, so it could be transferring your accounts. It could be setting up the insurance. Uh, and I think one of the important things is we would probably be working with your CPA and attorney on some things because we're not the estate planning attorney. Right. We don't do those documents, but we've gathered all of your data through mm -hmm. all of this. Now we, with your permission, can share that with them and say, hey, here's, here's where our clients are and they need your help. And so we're going to kind of be the, the quarterback in steering okay. some of that around, right? So we're not the we're not the the wide receiver, the, which is the estate planning attorney. He's trying to get you to the to the end goal life, right? Well, the end goal is I guess you want to live, but you're not. And nobody's gonna live all the way. But we want to get you to the end zone, uh, and they're gonna be the ones that have all the documents to get you there. So, but we gotta we gotta get them the ball, right? Same okay. thing with the same thing with the CPA. Uh, they might have some tax things that they need to work on for you that we can't help you with mm -hmm. we want to get them all of the information okay um can they expect to hear from us in between meetings yeah definitely so uh well between meetings so i define between meetings as we're going to implement our plan and we'll just call mm -hmm. that day one we're going to have an annual review 12 months later okay if need be we may have a meeting in between uh, typically we don't need to, there's not that much change usually going on, but if something comes up, we will have a meeting, but otherwise, yeah, definitely you're going to hear from us, uh, as we implement the things that you talk about. But once we've implemented those things, kind of things might die down for a while after three months or so, uh, we're still going to stay in touch. We're going to have, we're going to reach out with phone calls to check in, to see how things are going. Um, we communicate weekly via email on some mm -hmm. of the things that we're thinking about, not only for you, but for all of the people that we help. Uh, we also have newsletters. We also have all of this information that we put out just like this, this YouTube that we're putting out right here. So this is all information for you to hear from us when we aren't sitting right there next to you holding, you know, holding your hand and helping you through your process because we need you to be educated. Uh, and then hopefully through seeing some of the, the newsletters we send out, the emails, some of the YouTube videos, you can uh, ask better questions the next time you come in. Okay, so what are some of those things that we're maybe doing for clients in between that maybe we're not calling them to talk about, but what what are we doing behind the scenes? So we're, we're, we're concerned about investment strategy. Mm -hmm. So whatever investments we're responsible for, we wanna make sure they're in the right places. So we might have we might change those investments when, when need be. We might do some rebalancing on those investments. Uh, we might have to, you know, transfer money in or out, right? So if a client is retiring and they're starting to live off of their savings, we want to have those distributions going out to them. We got to monitor that, make sure they're getting their, their deposits on time. They might be investing with us on a periodic basis. We got to make sure those things are happening without any errors. Maybe there's a bank change. We have to, we have to make sure yeah. that we do, you do the updates on the, on yes. that. Those are very important. <laughs> uh, 
we uh, the CPA might have something that comes mm -hmm. up. They might come up with an idea partway through the year. We might have an idea to ask the CPA about. Uh, maybe we read. Maybe there's some new laws coming down that we have to work on mid year. Uh, the maybe there's a life change. Right? Maybe you have a baby partway through the year. Maybe you get married. Maybe you uh, retire. So there are things that might that might t trigger us to take some yeah. action on something for your plan between between meetings. Uh, like I said, we're going to have also have our email, our check ins as well. I mean, so those are some of the things we're doing. So we're not just it's not just okay. Here, implement the plan, make some changes, and we're just going to sit there and wait for the next year to show up. Right? Yeah. We're actively working on all of those pieces of the plan. Uh, following up on things that didn't get implemented because not everything that when we're doing planning, we might have 10 recommendations, right? But we might not be able to do them all. We might not be able to do half of them in year one because the situation isn't right. So we have to prioritize and get to the most important uh, and then be able to follow up on the other ones down the road. So down the road could be six months, could be a year, could be two years. It depends on, on what's going on. But talk no, so you're part of that that implementation. So yes. what are you doing? You know, what what are you mechanically doing through some of those things that I talked about? All of it. No. Um, so if there's no accounts, I mean obviously we're opening those, um, moving money around from account to account. Maybe we're transferring in, um, so all of that sort of stuff. Trades. Move again, moving the money. Those are important things. Um just making sure everything is getting done that you impl you recommended to the client. Yeah, and that's and that's Shana and Cassie. That's they're very key in that because that's their job is to follow all those details, yes. get it done on time, mm -hmm. uh, make sure we don't have mistakes, and just make sure all the you know the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, so we're getting everything done for you, and and rely on on us to do that for you. So we know the details, yes, and we get it done in, in an efficient manner so that you don't have to worry about it. You can go on and worry about whatever goals you have in your life. Yes. And I mean, we strive to make it as painless as possible for our clients so they can get the stuff done. Uh, so after that, then really kind of it's, it's a year next year, we're going to yes. have the same meeting. It's going to be, it's going to be our financial plan review is what we call it. So it's kind of a reset of what we did initially. So we kind of start all over again. Hey, Give us the updates. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your goals again. Give us all of the data again. We're going to gather that again. We're going to analyze it again, and we're going to have an implementation again. So yes. it's all four steps every year. The second year gets way easier mm -hmm. because we've seen all the data, right, the first time. Yeah, and there might be accounts that got moved. There might be less paper statements and stuff to give us. Right. Maybe there's, there's probably, hopefully there's some things yes. that we've been able to help mm -hmm. you streamline throughout the last year. Uh, but it, it's important to have that review because plans change. Mm -hmm. You know, a year later, something is going to be different. And what do we need to address right now? Maybe we didn't get, like I said, maybe we didn't get everything addressed the first time. And now we can take action uh, on, on the rest of it. Uh, so setting the plan up, super important. But then doing the review annually to keep you on track. Uh, and then repeat. Repeat. Right. Yep. What do you, uh, is there anything you want people to know about the planning process? Uh, you know, this is kind of our wrap up here and anything you want to tell them? No, I think you guys have pretty much covered everything that is important, but I know we've said it before, but if you have questions, just ask, reach out. We're here to answer them. Yeah. And part of the reason we wanted to share this was just to kind of give you maybe a better overview of, okay, Ryan talked about a financial plan. Uh, I don't really know what it is. And so hopefully you could watch the, this series and see the things that we do uh, through the process or hear about the things that we do um, and be comfortable with that because we want you to be comfortable because we think we can do the best for you once we've gone through a financial plan. Yes. Um, but if this has been valuable, uh, we want you to share this with somebody you know and care about. Uh, please like it or, or subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube channel as well. Uh, and let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you again next time.